so this video is just going to be a quick one it's just going to show you how to incorporate Facebook into your app someone um, requested it and I meant to do it in the last video but I completely forgot so so here it is so first what we're going to do we're going to go to um, Facebook slash developers when you get there you can create an app and then once you create an app you get this app ID okay so you're gonna need this ID for when you um, incorporate Facebook into your titanium project right so we've done that we've come to facebook.com forward slash developers created an app given it a name you're given this ID right so now let's go to this is the um, the titanium documentation right so what we're gonna do is if you're using a release after 3.1 then you can use this if you're using it before then then you use the old method which is titanium.facebook but I'm not going through that what we're going through is the, the, the this is the most up-to-date way of doing it and there are a lot of modules that you can get on GitHub and in in the marketplace that do like Facebook and Twitter and some other bits and bobs but I'm just going to show you how to do the the one that is actually built into titanium right so what you do you want to copy these two lines or just this one line it's up to you and put it in the tiapp.xml file in the modules section if you haven't included any modules to begin with then you can just get all of that and just paste it in there another thing you want to do you want to copy this line and where it says Facebook app ID that is where this app ID comes into play so that's where you put that and this also goes in the ti app.xml file right so now let's go into titanium so as you can see here I've just put it I've just put it on the login screen we made so at the minute it just literally pops up as soon as the app loads but again I've just done this really quick just to help just to do this request that someone has asked me to do so right what we're doing so we're requiring and all we're putting is require Facebook then we're doing FB the app ID and we're giving it the app ID we'll be given from Facebook these two lines I've got commented out this is if you want the user to authorize your app and by that so say I wanted to post to the user's wall and and there's a, there's a whole heap of things you can do with it um, you're gonna need the user to authorize the app because you're gonna and what that is is that they are granting your app permission to do these things to their Facebook page such as access their email access their data their photos post to their wall manage their pages and all that sort of stuff but all of that is in here on the on the documentation for titanium it's all in here there's examples it's quite long you know there's quite a bit there's enough there anyway to get you started but anyway we're not I've just got that in there just to show you but that, that's not needed for this all we need is to require the Facebook module and then pass it our app ID right so this is a share dialogue so we're putting this all these things here into this this data variable like the, <coughs> sorry the link the name message caption picture description right um, this is from the API documentation I've changed it slightly I think I'm not sure actually I think I've just changed the data in here but yeah so what we do is pass all this into this data variable then we do fb.dialog we're going to do a feed dialog which means we're going to be posting to the user's wall we're passing it data which is here then in the function we're going to see was it a success or was there an error and we're just going to give an alert back so let's load up the app and what should happen is as soon as it loads the um, it's either going to ask me to log into Facebook or it's going to bring up the um, the dialog box. I think it will bring up the dialog, so I've already I've already logged in.
But if not, you'll just have to log in the first time. Or your user will. So yeah, so as you can see, it's come straight up and it's come up with this, this dialog box. And this little question mark here, all that is, is it's because I haven't added any images to my app. This image would be pulled from your app page. When you create it and you get your app ID, you can add all different sizes of images. And I believe this is a 16 by 16. Okay, so this image here is, if you can see this on the left, this picture here, that is that. Then that's the title, that's the description, and yeah, do you know what I mean, so those are all they all link to these bits here. Um, so if I click cancel, it will say user cancelled, and you can, they can add their own bit here as well. So if I just put test and then share, it should give an alert. Yeah, so that's the ID of that post, and um, they it gives you the ID back in the return but what you could do is you could use that then with um, some of the graph API and you could I don't know I don't know, you could even delete it from within the app it depends how much you want to integrate Facebook into your app but it's all there for you to do you can access all the graph sort of stuff so yeah so I'm just gonna go onto my Facebook page now and we'll see this post so as you can see here is Gary George I got a picture of Michael Jackson there um, test is the thing we put in that's the image and this is all the stuff and if we click on these then what we're going to do is going to go to my website and that is because here in link that's the site I've put, I've put my website address so whatever you put there is what the post is going to link to so I hope that will make sense um, again I'll put a link to the API documentation and again um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the next part of the video for this series, but I promise, as people have, a few people have asked me, I will be giving out all the code. I'm just going to smarten it all up a bit, and I'm going to um, sort the alert boxes out within it and put some actual stuff in there, but I will be giving it all away. But yeah, I'll probably just leave this Facebook stuff just raw on the login screen. I might put it, actually, no, I'll put it in a little, a little Facebook button. Yeah. But I am, so I hope that was helpful. Anything else that anyone wants to know, just send me a private message and I'll, I'll try and cover it for you.